Hey everyone, I'm Bill. And I'm Bogna. And we are with Calimoto TV. Welcome back to the channel. We are at Skywood Trading Post, right next to the infamous Alice's Restaurant up in Woodside, California. And we're on the BMW S1000RR. And trusty MT-09. The trusty MT-09. We've got a couple riders with us today. Some of the old school OG riders up here from the Henderson channel. If you guys had followed that channel and came over to this one. Uh, Trevor and Charles with us. Big John Roy. What's up, Trev? Get in here, Trev. Trevi, where's, where's Beeb? Yeah. <laughs> Anyways, uh, so I've been talking in the channel a little bit recently about the, the lack of bikes. And if you guys know Skyway Trading Post, you will know what I'm talking about. I'm going to flip this around and show you what our Saturday looks like as far as bikes today. So we've got a couple uh, 899 over there. Nice Husqvarna that just pulled up. And of course, the S1000. And that's it. That's all the bikes that are up here today. So as you guys know, we used to take all the way up, all the way down, and this used to all be bikes. So again, kind of sad to see it, but uh, it's what it is. But um, the BMW got some treats for you, so stay tuned. Stay tuned. Watch this whole video because I'm going to talk a whole bunch about what we've done to the bike. So uh, keep an eye out, and then uh, let's get on the bike and get going. All right, guys, the BMW S1000RR. And the trusty MT-09. So we are up at our old school spot. Like I said in the intro, if you guys are henderson followers that's h-e-n-d-r-s-n -E if you want to watch some of my old school videos head over to that channel um i don't upload much over there because we pay attention here but uh yeah the henderson channel we used to come up here and we used to ride all these alice's epic rides and so we've got some of the og guys trevor inshaw we call him the beeb he's a grown-up beeb now he can't hear me so i can talk shit so Justin or uh, Justin Bieber here, and uh, we've got another fellow rider. I'm not sure who that gentleman is. And then John Roy, the big Roy. We were just teasing about his black suit is turning brown. So he has a leather, custom leather suit from Hellamot, and it was. Um, and. So we're going straight through. And so let's get through here. A lot of cars up here because there's no motorcycles anymore. Alright, so we got everybody. Trevor's already taken off. Yeah, so the original the, the original channel. Um, we used to ride a lot up here and we don't get this is about two hours away from home now so we don't make it up here quite as often which is that's yeah, a little sad I love this ride so we're going to take you down into Pescadero so this should be a good ride of course we're on the 2020 BMW S1000RR so let me give you guys some updates about what's been happening with the, the BMW. So this last week was a flurry of getting stuff done to the motorcycle before our July 1st track day at Thunder Hill. And uh, so let's start off with the video you guys have seen that came out actually today in real time. The service has been performed through ANS. Our initial service is done. We no longer have a rev limiter, which I'm super stoked for, but I haven't really tried it out. You guys have bet, pretty much seen what we've got to offer so far, because we've got a little traffic up here. But I am taking a little bit easy. So the service was done and uh, our rev limiter is off. 
The following day, we did get to see Dave Moss. Dave Moss came to the house, made a quick house call for me. You guys should have seen that video as well. And very, very informational with what is happening with the suspension. So I am in race mode because I didn't turn on the pro mode. So I will, in a later video, get that put on. And we will try it in our pro mode. Thank you, sir. So, um... press is a little bit high the dealer did put a little bit more tire pressure psi's than i requested like they pretty much did manufacture and i requested 30 30 so and i didn't adjust it before i left the house so here we go we're at 29 in the front 34 in the rear i know some will say optimal or somewhat optimal, but I will drop it about four more PSI in the rear. So for the suspension, like I said, Dave Moss did come out and we did get it set up. It is in pro mode and we did get a couple racetrack modes. So we've got some, we've got some adjustments done on the BMW, which I'm somewhat happy about. I think we're gonna teleport here. Nope. Okay, so we've got the uh, suspension all dialed in from Dave Moss and uh, we haven't gotten into that mode because we are in regular mode and you can't be in regular mode and riding and turn on racetrack mode. So again, the adjustability is a big, big gripe to me and I'll talk about some other gripes here, so stay tuned. But. Um, the, uh, so we've got that done. And then uh, that evening, the new Akrapovic exhaust came and I just couldn't wait. I was supposed to install it tomorrow. But again, I could not wait. And well, we installed it until one in the morning. So the exhaust is on and it does sound amazing. I love it. What? Oh, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. But of course the tires are wet. And then the following day, we took the bike yesterday over and got the clear bra done. And uh, so the, the rock chips are going to be at a minimum. So that's very nice. Lots of water on the road, still bleeding through the uh, mountain. So hopefully no rock tips. Uh, another modification you'll see in a later video. If you look, yes, the windscreen does look different. We do have the MRA race, short race on. It is not the long time Tom Sykes screen. It is the short version. So if you notice, I, I do like the contour of it. I'm going to talk about that in a later video. So stay tuned for that. So we've got, uh, <laughs> we've got Trevor and Shaw behind us, which I passed earlier. We have, hello. Hello. Babe was hauling. All right, I think we're good. So we only missed two places. We were able to get them to frog her up a little bit. The next part of the road will be hopefully a lot less traffic, but not my favorite road, so it'll be slow going. Now I know Trevor's behind me, and I know Trevor's sub to the channel. What's up, Trev? Uh, he took off just hauling ass, and I'm just like, hey, I still got to learn this thing. Now, if I was on my 15, that wouldn't have happened, Trevor. But, uh, you know, I'm, I'm taking it easy on this. I'm still learning it. I'm still trying to get a good feel for the suspension. I want to get 100% comfortable with this bike before I really, uh, really get into it. So, um, 
so stay tuned make sure you hit that subscription uh, uh, subscribe button because we are going to be having some fun here later on so we're turning here beep beep beeps all right so let's head up into Gazos, and I think we got one, two, three, four, five. All right. Uh, I'm looking at Mercedes. Hopefully, he saw us coming. So, this will be the first time that I've really taken the bike up over 8,000 RPMs. I have no idea what this bike's got, but we have a nice little Mexican roadway back here. <laughs> and, uh, Let's go, guys! Fucking rocket ship! And the brakes are good. I left everybody back there. <laughs> Ooh, this thing goes. Now, I've been seeing some stuff this morning. People are complaining about this dip. There's a dip. There is. Yes, there is a dip. And I would say it's the... Uh, Five to 7,000 RPM. If you're trying to get on the power, the turbo's got to spool up before we can really go. Once that higher RPMs kick in over 9,000 RPMs, the thing just took off. So, that was a nice little open up. And the brakes were good. So let's talk about the brakes because I was talking to Dave Moss about the brakes and because of the weight of the wheels, these brakes don't have to work as much. We did talk about tire pressure. We talked about the heat in the wheels because of course we've got carbon wheels and we don't have, we don't have the heat of the metal. So yes, our pressures do stay a little bit lower they don't stay up as high they don't get there as quick and they don't stay there as long rough road Ooh. and he also talked about braking we are not braking these big heavy wheels anymore and he says a lot of time carbon wheels get people into trouble so guys be careful with your brakes because you've got the less weight that these things are trying to stop essentially. So I've been breaking a little bit early. Dave is uh, Dave is an early breaker. He he says, look, get your breaking done before the corner. And I was like, don't worry, Dave, that's me. As you guys know, in some of my moto vlogs on track, ooh, is I do break quite early. And I'm trying to work on it. Maybe this will help me. So we've got Trevor Inshaw right behind me on my coattails. I know, Trev, I know. The OG guys are just laughing at me right now. This is not how we used to ride. Like I said, head over to the Henderson channel because you want to see some shit that, excuse my language, but if you want to see some shit that we did on the road, Obviously, me riding at the track primarily, um, I have become a safer rider out here, and I've slowed down quite a bit. Body position is quite different, so I don't ride like I used to out here. So you can watch my acceleration it, it out of this corner. You'll see, well, I'm in, I mean, I'm in 4,000 RPMs, but. See, there's nothing really until 9,000 RPM. So confirmation that there is that quite, quite that big dip. So Dave Moss was a huge, huge help. But just understanding a little bit, it's a lot of it went over my head. So if you guys watch the video, you'll understand if, if some people are loving this. Some people watched the Dave Moss video and were like, oh yeah. I told Dave Moss at one point, I was like, Dave, look, I'll be honest. I got nothing. I can't, I can't understand what you're saying. I just want to get on the bike and go, right? So we measured from the stem, steering stem to the crotch point 
The 2015 is 22 millimeters, or excuse me, 22 inches. The 2020 is 24 inches. We have two inches from the crotch point to the stem more. What's that mean for you? If you're a taller guy like me, this is gonna be ergonomically better because you're not, you're stretched out a little bit further. You're not quite up as high. But for you short guys, and maybe Bogna, it's gonna be a stretch, two more inches. The bar ends as far as how far the bar ends are from each other. They are out three inches further from end to end. Uh, excuse me, seven, eight, nine, two inches. 27 narrow on the 15 and 29 on the 2020. Now the 15 has had some work done. Have those bars changed since stock? Yeah, most likely. That's what we have to deal with in California. I mean, just at least get over a little bit. So, we got, we got guys back there. We got one, two, three, four headlights. I'm looking for headlights. I always do a headlight count just to make sure that we've got all of our all of our riders and we sure do and I see the bright white lights which is the lovely B so she doesn't come on to the she doesn't like me talking to you guys so she mutes her uh, intercom when we are out riding so she's not joining us right now but as we slow down and we come to a stop she will chime in. So the ergonomics has changed a little bit. The exhaust, I love it. Sounds great. Cold start, amazing, amazing. And uh, the uh, the the tone isn't isn't loud at all. Like I I love the tone. I love where it's at. I get some crackles and pops right now. Um, I I love the exhaust where it's at. Now. Uh, you guys were saying, oh, I knew you weren't going to put a two rows exhaust on there. Uh, <laughs> I still am, guys. Sorry. Uh, we're working with Mark. Mark is going to get us a slip on. He is probably not going to be doing a header for this just because of the demand and where his marketplace is right now. Um, so we're going to see what we can get for this thing. But I don't know. Maybe we'll switch from the... Maybe we'll switch from the... Uh, Two bros to the Acropolis. Who knows? This thing just screams, guys. You get into that limit. So we're gonna have we're gonna have a very possible top speed end to this video. So I hope you guys will watch the whole video. But if you're not gonna watch the whole video at least stick around for the end because my outro will be a possible top speed e exit to this video so stay tuned if you guys are looking at how long it's going to be 10 to 50 more minutes so i apologize the late gary j Gary, we love you. We lost Gary, I believe, about 10 years ago. Gary would be right on my ass right now on his 250. He's that. 250 is all you need, bro. And uh, we, we don't know what happened, but Gary was out on a group ride with a bunch of guys about 10 years ago and um, had an off and didn't make it. Taken from us far too soon. Even at the age of 50 something. It's kind of a little town, so they take it easy through here. So I am
am going to be going through a little bit of a disappointment video with BMW. And I'll tell you guys that if you bought this for street use only, you're going to want to watch this video because for a street bike, I am a bit disappointed in what the changes have been done to this bike as far as not being allowed to pretty much have any of the new stuff for the street. Now I know that they've been pushing this about track and we're gonna get it on the track, so stay tuned for that next week. But, these are street bikes. So we've gotta have some of this fancy stuff for the street bikes. That's what everyone wanted BMW. So stay tuned for that video. What about these roads here in Northern California? Some of the absolute best roads. I haven't ridden much out of the country, but from what I can hear and, and understand from people that talk about the, the Dragon out in, in the, the Carolinas, you know, that's 11 miles. We're done with our ride already. The Mulholland Drive, as everyone knows, the infamous Mulholland Drive with our Nicky Mouse. That is like a, that's like a half mile run that everyone rides. There's some good mountains down there, but nobody rides them. They just go up to Mulholland and ride back and forth in this half mile ride. We're gonna be riding 120 miles today, guys. In all this, we are heading towards Highway 1 at the Pacific Ocean. That's where this video will end. Actually, it won't end there. We'll start another video, part two. Will be in Davenport. This bike, it turns wonderful. I'm getting comfortable now, you know, going from the Jixer into the BMW was such a difference. And I talk about the 07 Jixer 1000 track bike and what I'm gonna do, because I'm, once I get on this, I, I'm gonna have a hard time riding that 07 GSX-R 1000 on track after this, because this thing just turns like crazy. And that thing is a pig. 100 plus pounds on that thing. So, we're going to, uh, we're gonna have our time on the track with that Jixer. But I, I'm really digging this now. I haven't been too far up into the limits, into the rev limits. But, uh, we're gonna get our outro right over here, but we're gonna stop here and regroup with the other four. And they're not far behind. We got one, we got two, we got three. And we're looking for a fourth. John Roy, he's our slow old man back there. And we got four. So our outro is coming up. Stay tuned. We got everybody. Look at we're running. We're running good today, guys. So this group that I used to ride with, we just we were so in tune. I'm bummed, Deb uh, and Jeff, the Nailers. I miss you guys. I wish you guys could have made it today, but I get it. All right, guys. So. To the left is Mexico. Mexico, the, the North Mexican border is right there. And we're going to get turned and pass this car so we can make it to the border. Border is just right around that corner. Rocket ship. And then let's get our outro, guys. Lane sharing at it its best. I appreciate it. 
All right. So, let's see how this 420 pound bike does at 50 miles an hour. The wheel wants to come up, I'll tell you that. But let's go ahead and get into this exit. Definitely stay planted. So that wheel didn't come up at all, but I didn't feel like I was sacrificed at all either. All right, guys, make sure you hit that subscribe button and smash that like button. Till next time.